I have a fan. It's loud AF because I spilled a liter of water on my bed. And I'm trying to dry out the comforter. Also, I've had a few comments about how I filter my videos. And I wanted to show you that I don't filter my videos for beauty issues. I filter them because I like that. It's fun. It's fun for me. I am literally wearing no makeup today except for a tinted lip balm mascara and eyebrow mascara so that you can see them. Anyway, let's get on with the Lush haul. <music> any of my Lush videos in the past, you will know that I order from Lush or buy at Lush twice a year. Lord of Miss Roll Time, which is now, and Boxing Day set and the Boxing Day sale. So I did place an order because Lush had Lord of Miss Rule available. I spilled their little beans all over my floor. But I want to say I actually am not mad at Lush about the beans because it says they are degradable in earth and water. I did put this under the faucet to see how it worked. And this thing dissolved in like zero seconds flat. So, okay, I'll forgive Lush for all the beans. So here is my handy dandy little reference sheet of the things I've purchased. Gonna dig them out and read them to you. So the first one I got is the Rudolph Nose Shower Bomb. They did have holiday items for sale on the website. This shower bomb says to hold under running water as it expands. Use the foam to cleanse your skin. I bought two shower bombs actually because I was under the impression that you could put them in your shower and the steam from the shower would cause them to release a, a fragrance. I didn't know they were actually for your body. Um, my mistake, but I will still use them. This smells really good. It smells slightly like cherry, but like cherry, almond, vanilla. It's quite a pretty scent. Um, if you do shower a lot, I would recommend this based on the fragrance alone. That is Rudolph's Nose Shower Bomb. That cost... A mystery price doesn't have the prices on here but I think it was about six dollars four five six dollars the next item I purchased was a bath bomb and let me tell you I'm very annoyed though that Lush didn't wrap the bath bomb separately pet peeve all right this is the ghosty bath bomb so it looks like this. How cute is this? I will cut it in half because one bath bomb is a little bit too big for my tub. Although I do have a large bathtub. And it says drop into water, let dissolve, and then soak in the bath. This is a really beautiful citrusy scent. Almost like a citrus pine saw scent, but I like that a lot. So I'm going to have to find a baggie for this, but that is the Ghosty Bath Bomb. That is part of their Halloween release. This one is in a bag, and it is You Shall Go to the Ball Bath Bomb. So it looks like that. I'll show you in a minute. But You Shall Go to the Ball Bath Bomb. This was the most expensive bath bomb I purchased. I think it was $11.95. It says drop into warm water. Let it dissolve and then sink into the bath. It's beautiful, though, according to the pictures. Oh. Well, the picture doesn't do it as much justice. The, the real thing doesn't do the photo as much justice. This one I will probably use all at once in my bath because it is a little bit smaller and a little bit would be harder to cut. It smells pink smells vanilla like and it maybe have like a fruity note as well so I don't I tried to stay away from like hot hot pink bath bombs 
because my last experience with them dyed my fingers pink. You can see just there that the dust has kind of left a residue. Um, but this one isn't as bright as some of them, so I figured it would be okay. <laughs> Not my bathtub being covered in a pink ring for the next century and a half. So that was You Shall Go to the Ball Bath Bomb. Next, I have this year's, actually, I'm going to skip this year's Lord of Miss Rule for now, and I'm going to go to the Sleepy Shower Bomb. So again, the same with the Rudolph Snows, hold under running water as it expands, use the foam to cleanse your skin. Once again, thought it was just going to be like releasing a lavender fragrance. I didn't think that I had to use it on my body like that, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, let's open it and see how it smells. Three hours later. I am going to put up a poll on my community tab about what type of ghost story you want to hear for the next time I do my makeup and share a spooky tale. I have a couple of different ones that I can't decide, so I'm going to need some help. So check that out. Also, Sleepy looks like this. It says Sleepy on the bottom. It smells like lavender, very clean lavender and a little bit of vanilla. Very nice, pretty. Um, it is a relaxing type of scent for sure. I don't know if rubbing yourself with it is all that relaxing, but who am I to judge? Now we have the three Lord of Mist rule bath bombs. I did, okay, so I had to take a call. So now we are on to the Lord of Mist rule bath bombs. Um, there's a lot of controversy over them this year. The Lord of Miss Rule Bath Bombs for this year, 2021, look like this. Yes, indeed. I scrolled right past them on the website. I was like, that's not Lord of Miss Rule. Smells exactly the same. And apparently when it dissolves, the inside is green, like the previous color was green on the outside, but I loved the green and bright burgundy red blood bath inside of the old Lord of Miss Rule balls. And I think that sentiment is pretty much shared with like all lush fans, or at least everyone who's a fan of the Lord of Miss Rule bath bomb. This doesn't give me Halloween vibes. This doesn't give me fall vibes. This gives me like the monsters fun vibes. So I wonder if they were trying to change it to match that so that people would know that fragrance was available in that product. Um, but I have three. I'm going to use one this season and I'll probably save, oh, this one's broken because they didn't wrap them, of course. And I will probably save the other two because I basically sock up and three will last me about the year because I use them only on special occasions. So I'll use one, maybe use one of my older ones, save these and hope to God they come back in their normal style next year. So Lord of Misrule bath bomb, these were $7.95 a piece and it says drop into warm water, let it dissolve, then soak in the bath. So I, I think it doesn't have the prices on this sheet, but I believe the Cinderella's carriage was the most expensive. It was $11.95. And then I think the ghosty bath bomb was $8.95. Lord of Misrule bath bombs were $6.95 or $7.95 because they came out to 21 something for three. And then the two shower bombs, I think were four, maybe like $4.95. Not 100% sure about that. But the last thing I did purchase is something that I actually, I didn't have. Oh. I didn't have this on my wish list. I didn't really think about this fragrance very much. Um, if anything, I was going to buy the Lord of Misrule perfume. 
but I went into the Lush store and sprayed this on myself and it smelled amazing. I got complimented by the counter assistant at the next store that I went to. So I was like, I have to have that. So that is Lush Lust. This smells so good. It is a jasmine bomb. And I mean, if you think that Alien is a jasmine bomb, no. <sighs> Lush Lust is an indolic jasmine bomb. Not a safe blind buy. What? Not a safe blind buy. Not for someone who doesn't like jasmine heavy fragrances. But it is so sexy. The jasmine in this fragrance reminds me of Bath and Body Works old um, aromatherapy line that had the jasmine vanilla fragrance, which was my favorite scent of all time. And this is reminiscent of that. So I just got the 30 mil because I have so many perfumes. I don't need a bigger size, um, but I plan to wear this all winter long. I might wear this spring summer too. I mean, I might choke someone out, but I might still wear it because it's gorgeous. So anyway, that was my fall lush haul. You will see the second lush haul on after boxing day. Um, and then you'll never see lush from me again until this time of year. So if you have any questions about any of these products, how they smell, how they perform, I'm interested in seeing that too. So feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd be so happy if you would join us here. Otherwise, like and hit the notification bell to be notified next time I upload. I will see you guys later. Bye.